One of those crisp, clear spring days in the northern Burland. Everything was peaceful in the tranquil valley flanked by mountains, a valley cultivated for some 250 years and where thriving fruit and wine industries nestled. Canola and wheat fields also add their colourful characters to the fertile valley. But by late afternoon there was a brief foreboding of something unusual, rather as if the earth was shifting its position. It was no more than a slight tremor. Those who had noticed it were not even sure whether it had been a mere fancy. Little, however, could they guess what was in store for them. Nobody was aware of the terrific strain which beneath them in a crack a hundred million years old was reaching breaking point. And then it happened. The intense heat from below the ground caused the sand to boil. There were miraculous escapes. People were dug out from underneath mounds of rubble, in some instances without a scratch. But the earthquake did exact its toll. Eleven people, mostly children, had perished. And then came the daunting task of assessing damage, clearing away debris, repairing and rebuilding. Fortunately, offers of help poured in from everywhere. Within days, temporary housing in tents and caravans, supplies of foodstuffs, medical services, lorries and bulldozers were made available to the stricken valley. History would shrivel and die if Church Street was not restored. However, anxious residents of the street voiced their concerns for provision of food and shelter their immediate priorities. A national committee was formed within days and tasked architect Harvey Fagan and his wife Gwen with the restoration project. After an amicable agreement, the residents realized they had nothing to lose. Drawings by W.J. Birchall in 1811 and photographs from 1861 and 1895 of Tulbach formed the basis of Fagan's inspiration and starting point for the restorations.
From the ashes of South Africa's worst earthquake rise the old buildings of Torbach, as in a dream haunted by distant memories. They appear in groups down Church Street, recapturing the spirit of the past with such emphasis that it is difficult to believe they had ever been disturbed. Fifty years on, and Torbach remembers and commemorates the emotions and the tumultuous efforts of a community reborn and restored. In a moving church service, the families of those who lost their lives in this devastating event, together with community members, came together to remember those eleven people who perished. Tulbach, and in particular Church Street, once again celebrated its historical contribution to South Africa.